I know we're in what seems like a freer culture right now where people don't have to be bound by as much what their own family of origin says they should be doing and and people seem to be okay with just kind of being who they are it seems like we're coming into our own like that and I know this is I'm just like doing a bunch of double speak but let's talk about people that tell you you they give you advice they're not in the industry and they're telling you you shouldn't do that but part of it might be because they actually won't allow themselves to live the life they want to live be with the person they want to be with yeah choose to go outside the sort of status quo of of what their identity says they're supposed to be the human condition baby yeah right it happens all the time i mean i'm sure that you both felt it oh i've yeah but i've never been one to um care about like convention in fact i might you be more of an naturally. <laughs> i'm kind of a natural yeah and i and it's like i can't like a song that everybody likes right now and then i hear it years later and go actually that's pretty good but it, because it was so popular at that time i was cringed so I have that disease. I know that that is its own affliction. <laughs> Maybe it's the contrarian complex. I don't know what it is. Uh, it has to do with authority. <laughs> okay. It has yes. to do with authority. So think there about you who your uh, real quickly. Just think about who your primary authority figures were in your life, Psst, mom and dad, and the relationship you have with them. That's okay. where it all stems from. Anyway, yes, they do. So you know, it takes courage to be an artist takes enormous courage to be an artist, whatever your, your art is. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easy sitting down and pouring your heart into a script, right? Even if it is a story you've created, it's still your blood, sweat, and tears, right? And your heart on that page. That takes guts to sit in front of a camera and act out those words and perform it and bring it to life with a point of view. Incredibly hard. <laughs> Incredibly hard. Same for directing. Same for the production. Same for all of it. It's all challenging. So I like I salute all artists because it takes enormous courage, um, and that kind of courage doesn't go unnoticed. Um, and when people who aren't chasing their dream or or going after what they really want, whatever it may be, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the arts, right? Whatever it may be. When they aren't doing that and they have fallen in step to conventional wisdom, to group think, right? And I know a little bit about that because I got caught up in that little group thing. That is extremely detrimental to one's health and happiness and safety. And yeah, jealousy comes out of that. And so condemnation, it's the easiest thing in the world, right? We'll all pick an attack on each other constantly instead of supporting each other and, and encouraging each other. And then you see that the people who are the most successful uh, in any industry, in any, any walk of life, who are doing what they love, love what they're doing, they're happier, they're more peaceful, they're more successful, right? They're the most generous. They're the most supportive, the most loving uh, with their time, their resources, their money, whatever it may be, right? Because I think they see and they understand inherently how tough it is to put yourself out on the line, to put yourself out there, let yourself be seen, warts and all, right? Yeah, which is going back to, you know, we all sit there and beat ourselves up. Oh my God, what were they thinking about me? Was that terrible? Was that awful? I'll never work again, right? Relax, man. Take it easy. It's okay. That's why I think it's great. You go out and find a mentor, someone who's, you know, succeeded. And it doesn't even have to be in the same thing you're doing. In fact, I really encourage everyone to go out outside of their comfort zone into completely unknown territories and businesses and industries and start to learn about them. If you have an interest in it, not just you know, willy-nilly, hey, I'm gonna go into the auto manufacturing you know, plant today. You know, if you're interested in autos, great. But whatever it may be, right? And just go put yourself out there. Go to a workshop they have, go to a, a seminar, go to a convention, right? Go to a meeting. And, and see what's going on. And, and necessarily that starts to inform you and on ways that you would never, never have expected, really in the most wonderful ways, you know. Have you ever had an audition where it went horrible and then it turns out you got the part? <laughs> and you were shocked? Like you thought they didn't like you, they didn't even look up from their, you know, it's just some story like that? 
Only if we count every audition. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, that's happened. That's happened. Yeah, quite a few times actually. And that is that's that's one of those times where I stopped and thought to myself, "Son, you don't know anything. You have got preconceived ideas. You've got presuppositions. You're you're just like, man. That's maybe you need to rethink some things, right?" Um, and uh, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing, right? Uh, because it takes you outside of yourself, and that's not what everyone else is doing, right? You can live your whole life very comfortably, doing what you're supposed to do: go to school, get good grades, graduate, get a job, buy a house, get your mortgage, have a family, have kids, da 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 da, and that's all wonderful. But if it's not your thing, then it's not your thing. And you need to find out what your thing is and then go and do that. And doing that is going to necessarily bring up what you're talking about. People judging you or people being jealous of you or people trying to pull you down or, or people you know, trying to you know, make it hard for you in any number of ways. You know, usually it's passive aggressiveness, but... Um, You've got to find that strength within yourself and just keep soldiering on. And fear. Do you think? I mean, because we we all hear like these buzz phrases about, oh, it's you know, fear is love turn, you know, whatever the the different things are. But right. when when you actually see it happening, and it could be from people that you went to school with, that you were close in college, let's say, or whatever, yeah. and then you go on a slightly different path, and you see their fear reaction. Yeah. And it becomes lonely because yeah. you say, well, do I comply and stay with the group yeah. and now I have somewhere to go yeah. or do I do what I want to do and then maybe the phone stops ringing? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy town right there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, it can be the truth for a lot of people, whatever. It could be for entrepreneurs who want to start a business and people say it you're ruining your life. Absolutely does. Don't leave that good job. Great. That's a great point. Yeah. So yeah, that that yeah, that's ha- all. All that happens to me it has happened. It happens a lot less uh, to me now. But you know, that's because I've made a concerted effort to you know, like really uh, keep myself more focused and more aware of what I'm doing and what's going on in any given situation that I am. Like I said, you know, awareness creates choice. The more awareness I have, the more choice I have, and the more choice I have, I'm always going to naturally choose what serves me and the situation better, you know. Um, so, you know, entrepreneurs and artists are really kind of one and the same thing because they all have the same struggle. You know, you're creating something from nothing, whatever it may be, and you're going to fail more often than you succeed. That's, that's just how it's going to go. And that requires a lot of courage and you're going to have to deal with a lot of doubts and a lot of fears and a lot of worries and a lot of resentments and jealousies and, 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 and. And you have to find your way through that because there is no one way. And anyone tries to tell you, oh, well, this is the way you do it is either lying to you, bullshitting you, or trying to sell you something. Really simple, right? Or all three. Or all three at the same time, (laughs) (laughs) which is an especially distasteful combination. Um, So... uh, be nice to yourself, man. Find out what works for you. And you're going to find out what works for you by finding out what doesn't work for you constantly. Fear, everyone has it, you know. Um, uh, Brene Brown became very, you know, popular with her TED Talk and then, you know, her appearances on national television. I think it's genius um, in its simplicity and it's, it's, you know, showing your vulnerability. You know, look, I don't have the answers. I certainly don't. In fact, the more I learn, the more I know I don't know anything. Right. In the grand scheme of things, who the hell am I? When you show yourself, right, when you put yourself out there, when you let yourself be seen, your words, your artwork, your direction, whatever it may be, your music, your lyrics, whatever it is, your dancing, your, your body, your hair, your everything, that's necessarily a vulnerable place. But that's where all the magic happens, right? Letting people come in and see you and, and feel your humanity, right? And see it for all of its flaws because we all have those flaws. We all do. 
And in this industry, it's really easy to put forth an image and have a narrative and then get that thing stamped, boom, 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 and you show up across all these, you know, television shows and all these radio interviews and all these podcasts and, you know, <laughs> or, you know, you're very pensive or whatever it may be. But that's not the whole picture. It never is, right? It's just what's in the frame. And what's in the frame is what's in the frame, but that's not the whole story, right? So don't be afraid to let someone know you don't know what's going on. Or you know what? Yeah, I'm scared, man. I don't know how this is going to go. That happens in... The, you know, I, I go and do a scene and it's a very emotional scene or it's a very dangerous scene or a very physical scene. God, I hope this goes well, right? But, you know, I've done my work. I've made strong choices and I know what the story being told is and I know what's going on. And then I got to just trust the other actor with me. I got to trust the writing, the words on the page and the setting and the dynamic and just go. Let it happen, right? Similarly, I think it would be really well, it would be great advice and, and great thing to start to add that into your life as well. Kind of coming back full circle, art saved my life. I learned that through art. <laughs>